Hi everyone, good morning. Welcome to the daily reading. It is Wednesday, September 25th. We are officially in Libra season. Um, and yesterday I had, I couldn't do the daily reading. I was really exhausted. Um, I've been having trouble sleeping and I know that there's some kind of solar storm that's happened. I'm not an expert on the solar storms, so I can't really give you a lot of information on that. I sort of need to look into it a little bit more. Um, and I don't like to speak on things that I don't know about or that I haven't like researched or looked into or read about. So, um, I just like, I see it on Instagram on Alex Miles page, um, and she can give more information about stuff like that. But yeah, so, and usually when there are solar storms, I do get pretty exhausted and I don't even know if they're predictive. Like, I'm not sure if you can actually predict this. I mean, if anybody knows anything about that, you can certainly comment um, and let me know. I just don't know much about them. I really need to do a little bit more research myself, in which I'm that kind of person to research it. So the stuff that's going on in the skies today really have a lot to do with what I wanted to talk with you guys about, too. Um, and I wanted to sort of talk about self-alignment and mastering, mastering yourself and, and being a master manifester in your life and, and living a life every day of just being happy, um, or just not even, even if you can't be really super happy one day, you, you are content and you know that, um, where you are in life is where you belong. Um, and the energies that are happening right now um, are feeding into our fear programming. And fear is something that, um, it's like a natural way. It's, it, we, we see it as a natural way to protect ourselves. And, um, if you, I mean, you can say that like, you don't walk around in fear all day long. I'm not scared of, I'm not really scared of anything, but fear isn't just about being scared. Fear is also, anger, jealousy, um, anxiety, um, just like a negative, you know, foreboding feeling. That is a fear that you have been programmed to believe um, in something, right? That you have to be afraid of this. You have to have anxiety over this. You have to um, suffer. You have to... Um, you know, work really, really hard. Otherwise, you're not going to be successful. Those are the kinds of fears that we have on a regular basis. You know, I'm going to be too old to do this. Life is, you know, everything's falling away really fast. It's like even, even the whole age thing. Like, you know, you get to a certain age and society tells you that you should be more successful or you should be doing this or you should be doing that. Because we see it on social media all the time about what we should be doing, what our life should look like. And if you're not happy in life, then do something different in your life to be happy for yourself and not to show everybody else on social media that, look, I've got my life together. You can have your, like, your life being together can look 100% different than somebody else's life being put to, being together, Right? Um, I guarantee you the life that I live and the life that I lead does not look normal to like somebody who has a corporate job, who, you know, has lived in the same place for 20 years, that kind of thing, right? Like you have, you, you know, we've been programmed to believe that in order to be successful, we have to work our butts off and we have to um, suffer, you know, we have to sacrifice and suffer and work really, really hard to be successful. That's something that I, I um, fight with every day too, because, you know, I was always the survivor. My whole life, I just survived. And I made an active choice this morning to stop living in that, not even this morning, it's, you know, I have to act, make my, I have to make the active decision every single day, but I did it again this morning to no longer live my life as if I'm constantly having to be in survival mode. And that's the trick right there. And this is something that I'm going to be teaching in the self-alignment course that's on October 5th. And it, there's, you know, there's no coincidences that I'm starting to do these self-alignment courses. And this isn't going to be the only one. I'm going to have a couple more that you can 
um, join um, if you can't make the one on October 5th. Um, I'm going to try and do different time slots because I know everybody's lives are different. But, um, you know, these self-alignment courses, um, being in Libra season where we want to enjoy balance and we want to enjoy the security um, of the harvest, right? So... Um, there's, yeah, there, it, there's, it's not a, it's not a coincidence that I'm just doing and that I'm doing these during Libra season or that I'm starting to do them during Libra season. Um, because right now the energy, we have the sun opposite Chiron and because Chiron is in Aries and the sun is in Libra. And so all of these deep seated wounds these fears that we have that we even thought might have just have already gone by the wayside are showing up now to say, you still have to deal with this. This is something that you really, really have to deal with. And like one of the fears that I've always had, even when I was very, very small and I was programmed to fear this, even as a child is money and security, like environmental security and money. Like I have this very, like I had a very um, stressful relationship with money for a very long time in my life. And then I, and I find myself, I find it coming back up every now and then, like the universe saying, have you really dealt with this? Or do we need to look into it a little more? That kind of thing. Like you think that, and with each time that it resurfaces in your life, you can see how far you've come from the last time. And you can see, um, like I know that, when that fear comes up, I can remind myself, I am supported by the universe, I am supported by my loved ones, and I support myself, and I can get back into a free-flowing love pattern, right, into, the, in, into what the universe wants for me. But it still comes up, and it will, and, and I feel like until I'm ready to really, really, really 100% receive everything that I'm supposed to be doing, I think that fear of stability is going to come up. I mean, like when you've had one mindset for 30 plus years of your life, it doesn't just go away in a couple of months. Like it's a process. It's something that you really have to work on. And um, we also have Venus square Saturn, which is another thing where lessons are coming up when it comes to relationships and lessons are coming up when it comes to finances, because Venus rules both relationships and finances. So if you're finding yourself sort of in that, that stage of being afraid of something and you don't even have to be afraid of it, that's the thing is like, it comes up and you're like, but there's nothing that's going on right now for me to even fear this, right? Like there's nothing going on personally in my life for me to fear my stability, but yet it comes up, right? And that's what I'm saying is like, It comes up out of the blue and the universe is like, have you dealt? Have you dealt with this? Anyway, so if you're interested in that self-alignment, that's just a small, tiny part of the whole course that we'll be doing. It'll be a two-hour course with me. That information is um, on my website. I'm not sure. I'll put it in the description box below, but it's definitely on my website. On the front page, if you just scroll down a little bit, you'll see the Mastering Yourself Workshop, the Self-Alignment Mastering Yourself Workshop on October 5th. Um, and this is the last week. Oh, the other thing is, is the Libra New Moon Ritual that we're doing on Saturday. You can register for that on my website. And then the Meditation and Reiki Healing Circle that we're doing the following week is also going to help us um, because it's going to be more about self-empowerment and self-love. And that's going to help manifest um, what we, what our intentions were to manifest with the new moon. So um, you don't have to do both of them, but um, they are both available to register for now. It's just easier to get them as a pair together, I guess. Um, and this is the last week that I am going to schedule readings for a little while. Um, I am doing the Libra birthday special still, but this is the last week of the 20% off 
So you can still get a 30 minute reading with me, whether it's recorded or live. Um, you can get a reading with me for $60, a 30 minute reading with me for $60. This is the last week. And I think that there are like 12 or 13 available. I don't remember. I haven't been on the website for a little bit. <laughs> I like, seriously, I had to take off yesterday. I really did. Like I did two personal readings. Oh, and if you've ordered a reading for me and you haven't heard from me or you haven't received an email from me, um, I am getting to those tonight. If you still haven't received an email from me after today, please check your spam or junk mail. Okay. Get all the business stuff out of the way. It's really funny because um, a lot of some there are some people that get really annoyed when I talk business, but this is my business. You know what I mean? It's like I want to be able to um, to give you guys free readings as much as possible. Like I want to be able to do, if I could just do free readings all the time, I would, but I have to make money too. If, if in order for me to do this for you, I have to make money. So I have to do my, I have to advertise things. Right. And, um, that, that's another thing. That's another, another one of those fears that have popped up in the last, because like the love readings, there's always that one person that has to comment about how I'm like money hungry. And I'm like, how am I, I just, probably like the least money hungry person I know. This is just my business. This is what I do. I could go back to doing what I was doing before and just quit. <laughs> I think that would make some people angry, like upset though. I don't want to quit. I don't want to quit. Um, I don't ever see that happening, honestly. Anyway, so <laughs> stop trying to control what you want in life. And I feel like that is a cycle that's kind of coming to an end, is the trying to control through manifesting, right? So we have the Nine of Cups and the Emperor. Um, it's very interesting to me because with this Nine of Cups and Emperor, and then we have the world here, it's like... You do recognize that you don't have to control everything in order for you to be abundant and happy. That you can, and, and, and being and feeling like you have to control everything, that is fear, which is your ego. It's, your ego is the one that's telling you to be afraid. And it helps us, fear and ego go hand in hand. Um, telling us that we, we have to push harder and work harder. And um, so one of the things that I've really had to teach myself is to work smarter and not harder and allow myself to be open, an open receptacle. Like I am just an open vessel, universe, shower upon me your blessings, right? The bottom row, we have the 10 of cups, we have the Four of Cups, and we have the Five of Swords. And, and here's the thing is we want this Ten of Cups to not be an illusion, right? It's like we can look into the future and see that happy place that we want to be in, but is that happy place something that's really going to make us happy, or is that what we think is going to make us happy? And so that's where you have to really expand yourself and to stop lying about that, that it's like that you're never, that you, it's not good, like you're never going to be able to get it, right? When things seem too good to be true or when we um, feel like things are limited, you know, there's enough to go around for everybody to have to, a good life. There is actually no limit to happiness. There is no limit to feeling good. And for some reason, it is more uncomfortable for us to say, I deserve to be happy and to feel good. Than it, I mean, people will easily complain about how miserable they are and how bad their day is or how horrible their job is. Like that, like nobody, because because you know that, that like somebody else who's just as up miserable as you is going to commiserate and be like, you know what, I know exactly what you're feeling. 
I had to work 60 hours last week just so I could pay, get this paid and this paid and this paid. Right? So instead of, of, of that misery, instead of constantly living in a world where it's easier for you to complain about your life than it is for you to say, I deserve to be happy. I deserve to live the good life. Because the universe is always going to deliver to you. So if you believe that you're supposed to live in, in suffering and sacrifice, as you wish, right? If, but if you believe that you genuinely deserve to be happy, that you genuinely deserve to be abundant, because it's everybody's birthright to be happy and abundant. What happens after we're born, though? We begin to be programmed into a fear state of mind. It's a generational thing, too. And so when you say, yes, but this generational thing stops here, and you start to believe that this Ten of Cups is a reality, and you'd be amazed at how the doors just kind of start to open. Once you, and I say that as the Wheel of Fortune pops out on the Nine of Cups, you would be amazed that once you start to believe that you deserve to be happy and abundant and whatever it is for your highest good can come to you, doors just start opening up and that's the wheel of fortune. That's the energy shift. That's when things go from stagnant to amazing. Sometimes it's in the form of a thought, an intuitive thought. Sometimes you could be, um, you, can, you can shift the energy by waking up and, and saying, I am an open vessel for all blessings, all happiness, all abundance, and anything that's for my highest good, I'm open to receive. Right? That's kind of the, in the same way as when I'm like, you know, when we, when we pray to God that we just want to be happy and God is ready to make us happy. That's sort of the same thing, the, the being an open vessel in order to receive, right? You are basically giving permission to the universe to bless you. But sometimes the blessings come by needing to clear things out first, right? And when things start to, to clear out and we decide, oh my God, now I have to be in control because everything's starting to clear out and I'm gonna lose my whole life, right? That's when we get really super aggressive and angry and the ego gets involved and the fear starts to come in. We've shifted the energy and now the fear is starting with the Knight of Swords on the Emperor. And you start to scramble and you feel really chaotic and you're like, oh my God, I'm going to lose my life. And you start hustling to try and save your life, but you're saving a life that's being taken away from you on purpose. You even asked for it to be taken away from you because you wanted to be happy and the life that you're trying to save was not making you happy. Cycle ended. Because then you realize, oh, I can't save this. No matter how hard I try, no matter what I do, there are certain aspects of my life, there are certain things about my life that I have to let go of. Some of you are fighting the cycle ending, right? The five of wands on the world. Some of you are fighting this. You asked for it. I just want to be happy. And now that you've asked for it, the universe is like God, source, whatever, whatever that, that source energy is for you. It says, all right, wiping it out. Here we go. And then you fight it. Because your idea of happiness is not the same idea of the universe. The universe or God is saying to you, I know it's going to help make you, I know it's going to make you happy in life, but you keep fighting me. You keep saying, no, but I have to do this. No, but I have to do it this way. No, but I have to do it this way. 
You don't have to do it any particular way. The only reason why you think you have to do it that way is because you think you're headed towards one goal. You have like, it's like that one, my, my dad used to tell me that I had a one track mind. Don't ever want to talk about anything else. Just that one thing all the time, right? Um, Ten of Cups, yeah. Really, really think about, so we have the Four of Swords on the Ten of Cups and the, the healing that needs to happen when it comes to fe just feeling good. Just having a natural energy to feel good and to not wake up in the morning and be like, oh my God, my life is miserable. Because you can feel good even if you hate your job. Even if you dislike the job that you're going to, you can still make a conscious effort to wake up every day and know that you're being supported by the universe and that everything is temporary and nothing is 100% guaranteed and that anything can happen to change your life in a day so why sit in misery and that everybody see everybody gets the chance to be abundant it's a limitless world out there and it's really funny how we've really limited ourselves into believing that only certain people are going to get the good life. But what, what is it that you see as the good life? Because if you see the good life as just all the material stuff, I guarantee you those people have problems too. You just don't see them. If it's the good life that you get to see a couple of people just get to travel all the time for their job, that's their, that's their happy place. I guarantee you they did the work to get there, but they also allowed themselves, you know, I'm sure that it wasn't easy to do it, but at the same time, that's their path. That's what they're supposed to be doing. You gotta, my point is, see, you gotta find your, you got, you have to find your path first. Before you work on getting to your path or what you're supposed to be doing, you have to find out what it is. And in order to find out what it is, you gotta get quiet. And you have to stop rushing and rushing and rushing and rushing and rushing, trying to figure out what it is that you're supposed to be doing. Because what you're supposed to be doing is what you're doing right now. And you have to be content with that and you have to be okay with that. And then you can build from gratitude and you can build from knowing that where you are right now is only temporary because that's what you choose. You choose for it to be temporary. And once you shift your mindset, and this is going to be taught more in that self-alignment class, once you shift your mindset, right, and move into an easier state of mind, that six of swords on the four of cups, where you're not apathetic anymore, but you get quiet and you shift your mindset into an easier state of mind, state of existence, right? There's always that dreaded ego that can crawl back in, five of swords. There's always that ego that can crawl back in and say, oh, but it's going to, it's going to be harder than you think or it's not going to be this or it's not going to be that. It's up to you to decide if you're going to err on the side of fear in life, which would be the five of swords, always being afraid that you're going to be deceived, or are you going to listen to your intuition, find some clarity there, and know that you are a constant um, work in progress. You see? Constant work in progress. So, six of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. If 
it depends on what you give your energy to. If you're going to give your energy to people, places, and things that are stressful and, ang and, and they upset you and they anger you, you're giving your power away. You're, giving your, your, you're allowing the anger to control you. Um, if it's not something that you can control, stop giving it away, right? If it's something that you feel like you have to keep on pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and pushing and you're constantly feel like you're in survival mode, it's time to start re-looking at your situation. And then the, the way that you do this is you close your eyes, you get quiet and you close your eyes and you say, what's going to help my life be a little bit easier? How can I make my life easier? You start with you, you take responsibility. You say, how can I make my life easier? And then you just shut up and listen. And that intuitive, and, and then start taking control of things, and, or not control of things, but, but to start, you know, healing the, the open wounds that come up when it comes to that. Taking control, right? Um, taking control in a non-control kind of way. <laughs> Taking responsibility. That's what I want to say. Not control. Taking responsibility. All right. I love you guys. Um, don't forget about the Libra New Moon ritual on Saturday. It's going to be amazing. We're going to manifest um, the release of old negative energies and new positive relationships coming into our life. Relationships, whether it is uh, romantic, whether it's platonic, whether it's friends. Whether it's just having an easier existence with the current relationships you have in your life, we're going to manifest some really fantastic things and we're going to do another Reiki um, transmitting session where I send you guys some Reiki healing energy. So far, they've been really powerful. They've been really amazing. And I'm excited. The rituals, this is the first time, like I'm going to show you guys the ritual stuff on the channel um, on the Friday before. Like I'll show you everything that you need for the ritual and what to do. If you cannot um, join us on Saturday, I'll show you, I'll still do what I normally do on the channel where I'll show you what you need and do the rich, like just do like an abbreviated version, right? The Saturday night, and the reason why I want to do this in a group state with the Reiki healing involved is the more people that we have together doing the same ritual and manifesting from their heart space, um, the more powerful the energy can be. So um, I'm excited for this uh, and maybe even a little bit scared at how strong the energy is going to be, but um, please, if you can join us, it's going to be amazing. I tried to make it a little bit earlier because I know some people probably have plans and stuff on Saturday nights, but um, yeah, so, but I didn't want to make it like too early in the day, so it's, it's in the evening time. I love you guys. Um, get your readings, personal readings. Um, oh, and this ring is going to be available this weekend, too. I'm so excited for this ring to be available. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be awesome. Uh, I love you guys. Take care. Bye.